So this is part two where we've just finished building our catapult and we are decorating it. So I'm just using whatever I had at home. I had watercolours. You should have those in your classroom or I've also put in some acrylic paints for you to use. Um, you can mix your own colours of those. But the watercolours are good because they dry nice and quickly and uh, that's a, a plus because we're working quickly. So I'm just covering mine entirely in red. Red's uh, quite a sort of a Roman colour. A lot of their insignia was in red, but uh, so is purple for uh, the imperial purple. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing my triangles. You might have noticed I didn't paint those. I'm decorating them with a decoupage, which is a French term for decorating things with paper. And I've just taken some of the nice... Um, Roman symbols and things and stuck those on but you might want to draw pictures and stick those on as well whatever you want to do you've got those to help you so there we are we're ready to move on and what we need is some drawing pins and we need one of these little glue pots if you want to you could decorate it before you do this we also need rubber bands there's lots of different types you can have an experiment see which ones are nice and uh, flexible which ones you want to use i'm going to pick a couple of yellow ones because i've got yellow in my design now i'm going to want to join these together so this is how we do that we poke one through and we loop it through and there we go we've got them to join together that's lovely and stretchy for our catapult now what we need to do is pin that on to the front. So we're going to use these drawing pins. We don't need to use a hammer or anything like that for this. We loop on the rubber band at one end and we just push it in. So it catches the rubber band underneath and that will hold it in place. Nice and tightly, wiggle it round, that's it, perfect. A nice yellow rubber band. Then we get another pin and we pin on the other side and that's in firmly. That's not going to come out. Great. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle and a test. Make sure that's all nice and strong. Perfect. So now we need to get this rubber band over our firing arm. And this is fine. Just like this. Have a little test. You'll see. Ping. But I think I'm going to secure that on as well because it makes it extra, extra strong. I'm going to just pin that onto the back. It stops the elastic band slipping so you have more control over it. You can decide if you need to do that or not when you've got your rubber bands on. So let's give it a test. Ping! Oh yes, that's good and strong. That should send little tin foil balls or little pom-poms a long way. So... We just need to put in a little pot at the end of the firing arm. Can you see there? I put a pin through and I'm using this paper pot. And as I say, you could decorate this before you pin it on. You could use paint or you could put a bit of that decoupage around it. It'll look nice or marker pen. Let's give it a test. Ping! Fantastic. Now, that is great stuff. So we can be all excited now about how we're going to be using our lovely catapult when we've finished our game. What we've got to do is now work on the game components. So that's making your little targets, maybe a target to go on the wall or some little figures to knock over. And that's going to be our game. So remember to have a look at your designs and have loads and loads of fun with this my friends you've drawn out your designs already work together work as a good pair work as a good team and i want to know who's the winner of the of the best catapult competition who can fire it the furthest we'll see how you do that'll be great fun can't wait to see what you've done my friends well done year four have fun bye